Guys, we are here at 900 subscribers. I said I'd be doing another Q&A for you guys. And already in a week, we've already hit 1,000 subscribers. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I told you guys we'd be getting some special videos, and this is one of them, my Q&A. Of course, next weekend, I'll also be doing a, re a reaction to some of my older videos that I've ever made. But like I said, that'll be coming next week. Your Q&A is today. So let's get right into it. Some of you guys have some complete awesome questions that I can't wait to talk about. And of course, I like I said, I'm going to be doing all the questions on here. I said they could be a about anything so again this is gonna be a ton of fun very laid-back session get some popcorn get some maybe your favorite candy sour patch kids Reese cups whatever you want to eat sit down in front of your TV your iPhone your laptop whatever you're watching this on and let's get straight in to the Q&A our first Q&A question is actually gonna be EJ tan film film fanatic good subscriber of mine and he says awesome video Zach as always here are my questions Thoughts, so his number one question is going to be thoughts on a Disney doing a live action version of Kim Possible. I'm into it. I'm a, I'm a fan of Kim Possible as a kid. I loved the show when it was younger, and I'm curious to see what they do. I, I hope it's not just for Disney Channel. I hope it's actually going into the movies, and I hope they get a good cast involved and a good director too, but I'm excited for it. His second question is going to be, what do you think about Chris Columbus directing Five Nights at Freddy's film? I think he's a perfect choice. Given his last few films, Pixels necessarily wasn't the best, but the guy has directed the first few Harry Potter films. The guy has helped to make Gremlins for Pete's sakes. I think he's the perfect choice to infuse a lot of fun and energetic stuff into the Five Nights at Freddy's film. Also, do you watch NBA? If so, who's your team? Uh, I watch the NBA, but not not a lot. Um, if I had any teams, it'd probably be the Phoenix Suns since I live in Arizona. And or... Um, I like the Boston Celtics a lot. Given I'm not, I don't watch it a lot, but really I think the Phoenix Suns, like I used to be really in the NBA when I was younger. I used to play basketball a lot. So I'm not too much into it anymore. Uh, number four, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, vanilla. I'm very plain in that matter. Uh, number five, what's your goal for college? Uh, my goal for college, become a business major, might have a minor in filmmaking and start my own production company. If not, just go from there. I'm always gonna be doing something with film. No, no joke. And then his sixth question is, do you watch Black Lightning? I have not watched Black Lightning yet. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a new DC show on the CW. And I'm curious to be watching. I am recording them and I will watch it eventually. Just not yet. Awesome. So now we have another person, another good subscriber, Rebecca Drake, Drake Dunn asked, what were your favorite movies of this year? And will you do a video predicting the Oscars and sharing what you hope will win? I love you, by the way. Love you too. Um, so first off, getting to your first question, what was your favorite movies of this year? So I had quite a couple. If you didn't see my video over on Cody Curse's channel, we actually went down our top 10 best films. But just off the top of my head, I mean, I, Tanya, Disaster Artist, Blade Runner, Logan. Um, The Big Sick was actually my favorite film of last year. I cannot recommend that film enough. I loved it so much much uh spider-man homecoming girls trip mm, there's so many that came out last year uh man i'm trying to think a uh, wonder woman was another good choice shape of water i really adored the shape of water good time a uh, call me by your name would have easily been in there after i saw it finally uh man i think those are really the ones off the top of my head but your next question he asked is will you do a video predicting the oscar and sharing what you hope will win um i think i'll actually be doing that the day before the oscars happen maybe a couple days before i am planning on live streaming either my reaction during the oscars or just giving you guys a video afterwards of my thoughts of the whole Oscar things. I'm still deciding on that. Make sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys want me to do. If you guys would be up for joining in a live stream with like a four hour live stream of me talking about the Oscars, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. But thank you so much, Rebecca. We got a small question here, and this is from Parky73. He asked Xbox or PS4 and why? So I actually own both consoles. I actually own an Xbox One, I own a PS4, and I own a Nintendo Switch. So this is gonna be tough. So I personally play my PS4 more than the Xbox One. Now, this doesn't mean I'm partial to either one. I think both are pretty damn good consoles. But personally, I play the PS4 more because my friends are on the PS4 more. And I personally think the PS4, at least in this console's generation, has had better exclusives than the Xbox One has. The only reason I own an Xbox One is, per se, for the exclusives. Gears of War, Halo, Cuphead, Sunset Overdrive. Again, if you've never played Sunset Overdrive, you are missing out. PS4-wise, it has tons of great exclusives and tons more ex great exclusives coming out. I mean, look at this year. We have God of War, Days Gone, and even Last of Us 2. But we've already had fantastic games like Uncharted 4, the Uncharted Lost Legacy, Horizon Zero Dawn especially. And I just really liked what the PS4 has been doing overall. Plus, the interface isn't as cluttered as I would think. But again, this isn't like a big debate, like which one do I like more? Well, it is partially. But I, I like both consoles more. I, I do play my PS4 more. 
more, but I'm not against the Xbox One. I have another question from another great subscriber, and this is from Terrence. Terrence asked top five directors. So this is in no particular order. This is just going to go off the top of my head, and that is going to be Denis Villeneuve is going to be, of course, one of them. I love Denis Villeneuve. He is one of the, my favorite upcoming coming directors. Christopher Nolan, it has to be in there. I love, love, love Christopher Nolan. Another one of the best directors is Martin Scorsese. I love Martin Scorsese. I just like how he directs. I like the vibrance energy he puts in all to his films. I mean, the guy's like a classical master. And two other big directors that I really like is Matthew Vaughn, who's done Kick-Ass and Kingsman, and also Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright, I think he is like five for five with all of his films. I think the guy is such a masterful director and editor, and he just has a fantastic style. But there's so many directors out there. Like, I really love D. Reese. She's an upcoming director that has had some a fantastic time in making film. Uh, Del Toro could have easily been in there. I mean, if Jordan Peele keeps his career going without after Get Out, I think he could easily end up in there. And yes, I love Steven Spielberg as well, but it's just like I kind of just picked the directors that I really just love their style of filmmaking. One of my great YouTube friends on here and also a brother to me, Ryan O'Toole. He leaves me some great questions here, and his number one question is going to be number one choice to direct the next Bond movie. Honestly, I would love to see Matthew Vaughn direct a Bond film. I love what he did with Kingsman. I think he would have a fantastic style. Him or Christopher Nolan, I think, would be great. But right now, it's rumored to be Danny Boyle. I think Danny Boyle would be a solid choice. I don't know if I particularly want him to direct it with um, the current James Bond iteration, but I think his own style of James Bond could be very unique. And also has most satisfying death in a movie. Now, this is tough because there is a lot of death in film, but honestly, going out of film-wise, I think my most satisfying death is in TV, and that is when Ramsey Bolton died in Game of Thrones. Yes, spoilers if you're not caught up on Game of Thrones, but when he died, that was probably like the most satisfying death I've like seen in recent years. Who has top five favorite Arnold one-liners? Now, this is tough because I, I love Arnold, but he has so many and they all mix together for me. So at least one of them would be get to the chopper now or come with me if you want to live. Those are two that always stick with me. I do love Arnold one-liners, but there's nothing like to totally like just stick out to me. I think they all run together, but those are two of my current favorites. Fourth question is going to be top five favorite Stan Lee cameos. Now, whoo, that's tough. So number one, I think has to be the Deadpool one. I love the Deadpool strip club one. Two, I love how he's like, um, I like how he looks like Hugh Hefner, and I think it's either Iron Man or Iron Man 2. I just love how he's like that. Three, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The fact that he is like a watcher, that whole fan theory, the fact that James Gunn went and put him in there, I thought was awesome. Four would be Amazing Spider-Man. I love when he's just like, just cleaning the library and Lizard and Spider-Man are just swinging around kicking ass. I think my last favorite one would probably be the one from Captain America the First Avengers. I just love seeing him in that war uniform. I like seeing him in there. And then another honorable mention I could probably give is for Avengers 2 when he's drinking with Thor. I thought that was a very funny scene overall when he's like, Excelsior! And Ryan O'Toole has to ask me, what is my favorite round in Rotten Refresh? Oh, my favorite round is the listing round. Easily. It's my favorite one. It's probably my best skill in there is because I just go in there and I list as many films as I can even think this actor or actress in. I don't care what the score is, just name it, because you never honestly know. My good friend Jay motherfucking Vader is coming up, and his number and he has four questions here. And one of his favorite and one of his questions is favorite Deadpool comic book slash graphic novel. So this is tough because a lot of again I, I haven't read a lot of Deadpool comic books lately, but one of the ones that has really stuck out with me is Deadpool kills like the whole Marvel universe. I think it is such a good like just fun in general comic book series and i think deadpool it's it's always great to see the humor in there and i just love it also guys what is your favorite studio ghibli film now my favorite one is spirited away i absolutely adore spirited away i think it's one of the best films that one of the best animated films of all time it's in my top 10 films of all time i grew up with this film i love the film and i think it's a fantastical masterpiece also ask what is my favorite fight scene in a movie now this is tough because there's so many great ones I, I, i'm gonna name some from recent history um anything from the raid anything from those raid films are fantastic um another one would have to be the civil war fight in the airport i thought it was just the choreograph in there is fantastic john wick um two i think when he's just going through and he's just when the text gets sent out i think that whole scene when he's just going through kicking ass the pencil i, I love that scene so much personally i think one of my favorite fight scenes in general are any of the avengers battles in avengers one and two i love just seeing the teams come together especially in that first film when hulk just 
fucking smashes the giant leviathan coming in. It was just so unique to see. Then ask your favorite cameo in a movie. This is tough because there's so many cameos that you don't expect to see in a film and then it happens and you're like, oh my god, I didn't know this person was in this film. And looking back, there's tons of films that have those moments. Game Night especially had one of those moments and I don't want to spoil who it is, but that would probably be one of them as well. Personally, one of my favorite ones in recent history is Zombie Land when Bill Murray shows up. I freaked out. I honestly freaked out. I was like, oh my god, this is like awesome. I, I love this. Move on to one of my other subscribers, the master of gaming. He left a quite a few questions, so we're gonna get right into them. He asked, what do you think of Lisa Foles? For me, she's very talented. She's a very talented person. I, I like her. her. His second question is, do you want to see Max Steel 2? Absolutely no. I didn't see the first one. Actually, I didn't finish it, but I it was pretty bad from what I watched. Three, will you review my movies when I make them? Of course, dude, I'd love to. And what is your favorite Sonic character slash meme character tales meme? Ungdo Knuckles. Yeah, that, that's pretty funny. Um, my favorite Sonic character is Shadow, for sure. I love the, the character in general. Uh, his next question is, what is your favorite female superhero? Uh, besides Wonder Woman, I mean, Wonder Woman's a pretty obvious one, I would have to say the least. I really like Black Canary. I like Zaytana. I also really, really adore Raven from the Teen Titans. I think she's such a badass with her powers. Even looking into the Marvel Universe, Jessica Jones and Captain Marvel are some of my favorites of all time. Ask, what is your favorite third-party Switch game? Now, my favorite third-party Switch game at the moment would probably be Bayonetta. I am playing that game right now, but as another one looking in would probably be Doom. I love the game doom and i think it holds up so well on the nintendo switch seven then he asked also what do you who do you want to direct a franchise so and any franchise will do so any franchise i will do if i had to pick my perfect director to go and make a franchise i would honestly love to see Denny villeneuve direct a star wars franchise sorry but after what seeing what he did in blade runner i think it'd be just an awesome choice live action disney remake are you most excited for uh easily the lion king i mean come on lion king or pinocchio i think pinocchio because pinocchio just got announced that paddington directors are going to go over and do that and i think that's just a perfect choice him it would be the black cauldron which that would actually be a really good choice too so nice pick there he also asked who's your favorite female director i actually already said this d Rees very up-and-coming director Catherine Bigelow of course I can say I also really enjoy Patty Jenkins I think she's a fantastic director I, I wish there was more female directors to be honest who is my least favorite director uh, Michael Bay I don't like him who do you want to be bad girl for me Lisa Foyle she would be a good choice um Batgirl honestly like even off the top of my head I would I I I, I want to see Emma Stone get into a franchise, and I think she'd be a very good choice for Batgirl. You review Smiley 2012 on Halloween, also Battle Los Angeles, my action guilty pleasure. Battle Los Angeles, I, I actually enjoyed the first one. I need to go back and watch it. Smiley, you know, that's a good review. Maybe I'll have to look into that. But thank you, man, so much for the questions. Tater Master here, and he asks, what would you do if you had a million subscribers? Probably cry. Uh, moving on, we got Norville's Nightmares, a great supporter of mine, and he says, questions, what does Deadpool think the meaning of life is? Deadpool thinks the meaning of life is easily chimichangas in Star Wars. What are your what are some of your favorite directors, composers, actors, actresses, or screenwriters you'd love to work with? If I if I had to work with certain people, um, of course, like I already said, most of my directors, Denis Villeneuve, uh, Martin Scorsese, James Gunn, I think would be a great director to work with. Uh, looking at composers, I mean John Williams, throwing him in there, to please score one of my films. Actors and actresses, um, probably Tom Hardy or Ryan Gosling for actor. Or even Jake John Hall. Actresses, uh, Emma Stone easily. Uh, I would have to say Alexandra Daddario, I think, is a very nice and good up and coming actress. Uh, and then screenwriters, uh, Coen Brothers. I love the Coen Brothers writing style. And even Edgar Wright would be one of the screenwriters I'd have to throw in there. Ian, what is your favorite movie of all time? So I probably said this before. One of my favorite films of all time is Wolf of Wall Street. It actually is my favorite film of all time. But even throwing in there Toy Story, the whole Toy Story trilogy is up there. I think that's like my number two. I just count them all as one. I love the Toy Story trilogy so much. Lawn Gnomes here. What's up, dude? Who are some of your biggest influences that made you want to make your own YouTube channel? So this is easily uh, Chris Stuckman and Jeremy Johns and the Flick Pick. Those are the three that really inspire me to do what I do on YouTube. They are the ones that really said, hey, you know what, I, I want to do what they do. And, you know, the Schmoes No can be even encountered in that. A lot of the Collider members can be encountered in that. But really, those are the, the top three that really inspire me to make videos. And now we got NBA73. And he's got quite a few questions. So this is going to be pretty cool to ask. Uh, did Suckman and Johns inspire you to do reviews? So I already said that, yes, they actually really did. NBA73 also asked, when did you develop your love for film and why? So 
I've always been, I've always found going to the movies, even when I was a younger child, as an adventure. Like, whoever takes me, my grandma, my parents, I always found it as being an adventure. When the d lights go dark, you see the screen, it just felt like an adventure. And there's more to that actually going. Me and Cody actually have a podcast coming up soon that I will, you'll get a lot of that in. It really goes into a lot of those details, and I hope you guys join in for that. So, ask, what is your occupation? Do you like it? So, right now, I'm still in college as a full time student, but as just my other job is, I am a supervisor at TJ Maxx. I run all the registers, and I kind of just help and ring up people and get people to apply for credit cards and, that, and that's my job I, I actually really enjoy it the job itself is fun but really i'm there for my co-workers and the customers that i do meet because even though some customers can be mean i absolutely love a lot of my co-workers and love meeting some of the customers that i get to talk to because you really learn a lot if you worked in hollywood would you want to act or direct um honestly i'd want to do both probably start as as much as i would love to start directing i'd love acting first and then watching people and seeing how they direct but i mean don't get me wrong if i got the chance to go direct a film i would go and direct it right away i love directing short films and watching my like just what i created on the screen it's great it'd be as funny as deadpool or as strong as deadpool ah uh, i'm already as funny as deadpool so let's throw the strong one in there you have any siblings yes i have one little sister she's almost 16 years old and i'm really proud of her she's a really good worker it's going to blockbuster to rent movies absolutely that was always a fun time smelling the popcorn smelling the, the, the disc being all crappy but it was a really fun time always going to blockbuster do you watch the nba i sadly don't i wish i was still into it what is your favorite tv show uh game of thrones breaking bad chuck the community uh rick and morty <sighs> walking dead used to be in there walking Dead kind of it gets in there and it, it doesn't a uh, handmaid sales up there right now uh, there's a lot stranger things daredevil punisher really like all those shows how many funko pops do you have i me and my sister have our funko pop collection combined it's around 455 funkos What's your favorite animal favorite animal is panda bear a73 says i'm planning to move to arizona after i graduate because the weather there is it worth it um yeah arizona has a nice weather just it's really really hot be any avenger who would it be um i would probably be if we're just looking at the team lineup right now and kind of going into infinity where i'd probably be spider-man to be honest like i love spider-man in general but also tony stark probably also fit my personality too thor wouldn't be bad as well i mean having a being a god of, of lightning and thunder would be badass it's an attractive movie character you had a crush on as a kid i mean that one girl from the goofy movie is pretty hot do any sports in high school yes i did track and cross country were my main ones that i did i also did basketball i dabbled in that for a bit but track and cross country were my main ones i was on the varsity team each year and i really just love track and cross country my times in there were great uh, i i for cross country obviously we run 3.1 miles and that was like a whole family just my whole track and cross country family and i miss them a bunch i love them uh, I, my best time for cross country was 16 47 i think 16 minutes 47 seconds for three miles which was insane and then for track i usually ran the 400 the 100 and the 200 and the 800 my 100 time was like 11 37 uh my 200 time was like 22.98 my 400 time was 52 seconds exactly and my 800 time was around i would say i think it was what was it, it was like two minutes in eight seconds i think i don't remember it was somewhere around there and then i also had like i also ran the mile here and there and my mile time was five minutes and eight seconds i think it might have been lower than that but i it was it was a tough thing I mean, what is the most overrated and underrated movie overrated um there's not a lot of overrated films because a lot of films that i think are overrated i'll rewatch them and be like oh yeah i really like this but underrated going that uh annihilation I think Annihilation needs a lot more analysts that people are going into. I think people really need to analyze that film a lot. I think A Cure for Wellness is very underrated. Ingrid, Ingrid Goes West is fantastic. I wish more people would have checked that film out. Also, any film, Brawl and Cell Block 99, or, you know, or Bone Tomahawk are both very underrated as well. Thank you so much, man, for the questions. I, I really appreciate them. Oh, we get to the last guy who gave me some questions. That is Anthony Jenkins, and he asked me some fantastic questions. And these questions are going to be, one... Favorite Dragon Ball series, DB, DBZ, DBGT, or GBZ Super. Now, here's the thing. I'm not really into Super. I, I've watched some, but I'm not super into it yet. GT, I absolutely hate. But DBZ is probably my main one, the, my favorite one. You see it right behind me. I have all the stories in there, and they're just my favorite. My favorite saga in there is either the Android Saga or Boo Saga. Because Boo is actually my favorite villain in the whole thing. And then he asked what my favorite game is. I mean, Budokai Tenchi would probably be my one of my favorites. But Dragon Ball Z Fighters is fantastic. I think it's such a great game, and it has such a good dynamic. So I find myself replaying it a lot. Do you think MCU Fantastic Four would actually be fantastic? No pun intended um honestly 
I think it could be if it's handled right. I mean, that's the whole thing. Any film has the possibility to be fantastic. It just depends on how it's handled and all that stuff. Everything has to come together to make a great film. What do you think of the future Star Wars franchise should go after episode nine? After this, I think honestly, they should really delve deep into other parts of the Star Wars lore, other areas of the world, revisit characters that we've wanted to see. Obviously, Snoke is a character that a lot of people want to know more about, at least I personally do. Maz Katana is another one. Hell, I would even want a prequel, another prequel film in the Clone Wars. Something dark in the Clone Wars series, and I think more people would want to revisit the prequels. Not given it's a bad thing to say the prequels, but I personally want to see more in that era. I think that was such a unique and cool era when the Jedi Order was alive. And I also want to see more of what happens with our main characters. Who lives, who dies? Does Rey become a Jedi Master and re bring the Jedi Order? I think this would all be unique things to see. The last thing is what snacks do you eat at the movies? Now, this is the main thing I love to get. I love getting a bucket of popcorn, putting a bunch of fucking butter in there, then sprinkling a ton of M&Ms through it, shaking it, mixing it up. When you grab a handful, you get some M&Ms, you get some buttered popcorn in there. It's salty, it's sweet, and it's chocolatey greatness. I cannot express this enough. It is so good. Check it out and try it out next time you go to the movies. Guys, that's my Q&A. Yes, this was for my 900 subscribers. I'll probably be doing a new, another Q&A once we hit 1,500. This is a great thing, guys. I am so proud of where we're at. I'm so appreciative and grateful of where we're at. And guys, you guys are all the best. Make sure, guys, though, if you haven't yet and you're finding me new on this Q&A, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can talk more movies later down the road and other reviews. Also, make sure if you did miss it, make sure to go check out Sweet Film Awards Part 1 and Part 2 over on Cody and my channel. Of of course, you can find part two of mine and part one on his. Just head over to that video and you guys can find some tons of great content over there. It was a really fun time and we're really proud of the project and what it's become. Plus, we give out some big announcements towards the end of part two. So you guys want to make sure to look out for that. Again, you guys are seriously all the best. Make sure to go check out Sandwich on Films down below. And until next time, stay classy.